Travis Benner, and this is Next Generation Science. This video is meant to show how teachers in the field can integrate the next generation science standards into their curriculum. The activity you're now going to see correlates to the Earth and Space Science standard. Support an argument that differences in the apparent brightness of the Sun compared to other stars is due to the relative distances from Earth. Their assessment boundary would be that assessment is limited to relative distances, not sizes of stars, and assessment does not include other factors that affect apparent brightness, such as the stellar mass, the age, or the stage of the star. Creating a basic model to show how light spreads out over distance will help students understand differences between the light from our sun and the light from other stars they see in the night sky. If the model allows for a square of light to pass through a barrier, the projected light will display as a square on the target. Using a grid, the amount of light shown over distance can be quantified. Students should have opportunities to explore the model and see how the same amount of light spreads out and becomes less concentrated when the target is farther away. Students should sketch the model in their science notebooks and seek to explain what happens to the light as the distance the light travels increases. How does our model help us understand the differences between our sun and the other stars in the night sky? Well, when the, the flashlight is closer to the board, it's much brighter like our sun against the Earth, which is the brightest sun, the brightest star to our Earth. And when this board is backed up, it it's like one of the it's like one of the stars that we see at the nighttime that we can't really see at daytime. With the sun, because it's so close, it's it looks bigger than the rest of them. So like, so when it's shining on the Earth, it's brighter because it's closer than the other stars. So if you move this back, it would show. So kind of up since it's so dense right here, this would be like our sun to us. But if we move it back, it gets less dense and that would be kind of like our stars. Because it's the distance between it that kind of controls the light to us. So what do you have to say about that? Well, the sun is closer to us than the stars are, so the light from the sun is more concentrated because of the distance, and the stars are more faded because of how far they are away they are. So when a star is farther away, what does that do to the light? It's important for students to reflect on how the model relates to the light from our sun and the other stars. They also should record their understandings about light and distance in their science notebooks.
If you want to see more videos like this one, or learn more about next generation science standards, go to YouTube and search for Benner Science and like my page. Remember, it's teachers like you that make a difference. Thanks for watching.